six months ago, eight months ago, we started to feel the real pain of not being able to get the data that we needed to, to take the next steps in improving the stability of our system. My name is Magnus. I work at the product team at Winnow. Uh, we are uh, here at Sustainable Bankside, which is uh, our offices since, uh, since about half a year back. We have roughly 40 people here and a number of people in other offices around the world. So we help professional kitchens reduce food waste. We work with uh, kitchens around the world with customers like IKEA, Compass Group. We track exactly what goes in their bins by putting uh, some hardware and some software in their kitchen, a scale under their bin, so everything that they throw in, in their bin gets recorded. And um, managing those devices has historically been, uh, let's call it slightly painful, uh, putting hardware in the field and uh, not really having access to it in, in these restaurant kitchens, which are quite challenging environments. They are often in basements. So internet connection is a challenge. Another really, uh, really exciting challenge is the connection of the scale that we have under the bin to our Android device that actually collects all the data. But because as soon as the scale is no longer connected to the device, we're actually losing data. So we have certain um, metrics that we track the kitchens on that need to stay within certain health parameters to make sure that the, kit, the, the, the device is operating as it should, but also that it's used by people in the kitchen in a way that indicates good engagement and good usage of the system to make sure that we get valid data. Prior to device pilot, we had our own homegrown system. So we spent a lot of time building that ourselves, uh, collecting that data, storing that data. That took a significant amount of time from our development team. And of course, it being such a critical piece of infrastructure for us, if our devices don't work, our system doesn't work for our customers. We, of course, also had to have a very high level of, of maintenance readiness to it. If something looked like it wasn't working, we very quickly had to sort that out. The homegrown tool that we built was excellent when we had 70, 100 devices in the field. Uh, we're now at 1,000 plus devices and we're going to scale really significantly over the next year. We want to focus all our efforts into building things that genuinely benefit our customers. So when it comes to things that aren't strictly related to that, like monitoring devices, why would we even look at building those tools? We should get the benefits of a bunch of, of really clever guys and girls building a, a tool that was uniquely built for that purpose. So we made a quick proof of concept, realized that we liked it. It could very easily uh, replace the tracker monitor we had and solve some of the highest priority shortcomings of our old tool. So we get a time series of data from all of our devices in the field. We can then enhance that data with metadata about our devices. That helps us further understand the situation for that device, which helps us in the troubleshooting. And then there's a UI on top of that, uh, a very flexible, adaptable um, web interface that is uh, suitable for engineers and our operations team. So it, it allows us to, without writing a single line of code, interrogate all that telemetry data and create monitoring dashboards that gives us the information that we need. So if you have an engineering team working with an operations team where you want the entire organization be able to help out to understand what's going on, Device Pilot, I think, is a really good choice. So my name's John. Um, I work for the Winnow Operations team. Our customer support is based off of uh, Device Pilot now and the information which comes from Device Pilot. So the, the integration between Zendesk is key in helping us be a proactive customer support team. When we started using the, the trigger that came with Device Pilot, and we could do that, but we could do it in a way that actually gave us much cleaner and more actionable data in Zendesk. We didn't need to write a single line of code and we suddenly improved a really key piece of our infrastructure. Every day I look at Device Pilot, I now actually have an extra screen just for Device Pilot so I can see those dashboards and I have lots of commonly asked questions from the rest of my operations team which I can directly answer with Device Pilot's help. What was the experience of getting started with Device Pilot like? It was, um, it was exquisitely pain-free, actually. We had a proof of concept up and running in a couple of days. 
it was made all the easier by the fact that the, the, the guys at Device Pilot are always there uh, to, to help out with any questions we had. Quite often get a message on Slack saying, guys, you're sending us this data. This is not really the best way of doing it. If you do it this way instead, you'll get more out of Device Pilot. They've been really helpful, really responsive and, and proactive, not just reactive, which I, I think is really great as well.